Uh, hi everyone, I'm Alfred, and welcome back to Friday Night Roguelikes. Um, I notice, with a bit of amusement, that after my decree uh, a bit ago about how I would only make these videos about 30 minutes long, I recorded two one-hour videos back-to-back. -back. Um, so, you know, there's that. However, this one will be uh, a bit shorter. So, this is Mid-Boss. I picked it up in the uh, Ageo bundle. I've gotten a lot of good content out of there. Um, very good investment, I must say. So, mid-boss. I forgot the synopsis. I'll read it later. Please select your experience level at turn-based dungeon crawlers. This will affect some default options like game speed and which tutorials are shown. I would say I am intermediate. Well, hold on. Movement, duration, and turn delay. Ah, what the heck? Let's go with intermediate. You changed the game. Read the change log? No, I don't care, actually. All right. So there's very... V wow. Yarn balls earned. <laughs> Yarn spent identifying on cursing. Okay. Okay. Pretended to be smithy. Okay. Now, how do I... I noticed that this does the same thing with uh, my mouse that... um. Oh, boy. This does the same thing with my mouse that... um. That's escape. That makes sense. Uh, Skeletress dead. Let's take a look at our options. Ah, oh, so we can change the time ourselves. Interesting. All right. Graphics. Can I full screen this? <laughs> oh. I don't know if you can see it, but the uh, the title of this is now, uh, Hey, a boss, the game done crashed. A log has been saved to... Uh... <laughs> Fucking wow. <laughs> okay. Um, let's try that again. <laughs> All right. I'm hoping that that looks a little bit better. Strictly speaking, I am still new at this. So I guess we'll hit new game. Um, start over from the beginning if you die. Traditional way to play is hardcore mode. One up mode, start the game with four extra lives and you can find more along the way. Narrative mode. Infinite respawns and permanent buffs to explore the game at your leisure. Custom game or back. Let's go with back. Um, and let's go with quick. Welcome to mid boss. Hey, Imp has the rat herding business. Moan, says zombie. Haha, uh -huh, yeah, Wimp is more like it. Hey boss, look at this jerk. Don't call a zombie a jerk, that's mean. Moan. Zombie's not your fault. It's not the zombie's fault you're such a weakling. I meant you. The real jerk. <laughs> Why, you little? The heroes have come. All monsters to their stations. Alright. I'm gonna turn my audio down there a little bit. Just a little. Game audio down a little bit. Um, it's the boss. Guess it's showtime. You ban your station, you'll be in trouble, wimp. Moan. Yeah, you stay here where you belong. With the rats. Hey, boss. Kind of getting tired of being bullied by other monsters. How about you? And we're distracted. We can finally show him who's boss, boss. Let's start with possessing that rat over there. First, we got to move over to it. The numpad, the mouse, or the or the wads, and EQ C C keys to move. Okay. That's time to kill that rat. Oh wait, we have to cast possession on it. Look to stop the screen here. Using the keyboard or by clicking it, and click on the rat to target it. Okay, so we have full diagonal and horizontal and diag and uh. uh Vertical movement, excuse me. Whoops. Plague rat's fighting me. Let's possess him. Now we can kill it. Attack by bumping into it. Prep your prey by using possess. You're not looking so hot. Maybe it's possess something. Possessing takes up mana, and you have to rest or press space to get mana back. If you depossess it, it'll heal you a little bit too. Possess something first. 
Cast a possession on something and kill it, but don't want to possess it, you can drain its soul to regain some health. Soul draining isn't as effective at healing you as at isn't as effective at healing you as possessing the new body, but handy if you don't want to switch forms. Possess plague rat? Sure. Oh, now I'm the plague rat. Oh, we did it. Never been a rat before. Let's open the forms one and see what this puppy can do. All your menus can be accessed from the buttons in the lower left corner of the screen or using their hotkeys. Open the menu for you this time, but you can do it yourself, Leah, using O. And he does a little kissy face. Isn't that nice? Top is a list of all the forms we know. Middle is the abilities we know in that form. You can only use three abilities per form, so pick those on the right. What do you think this one does? Uh, let's find out. All we gotta do is kill things while in this form. You get Underfoot, 10 stealth. We have Invenom, Poison Foe. Costs mana. Imp, Possess, Depossess, and Imposter. More stealth when not in Imp form. And in the inventory, we have nothing. Nah, I'll leave it. Nothing wrong with just using the mouse, right? Hey, speaking of mice. I am one. Haha. -ha. Shiny loot, call dibs. Can't use it anyway, have no hands. Pick up items and click on them. Or pick up all items in range with G or no. To equip or use items, go to the inventory and right click or double click on them. Items come in your uh, Borderlands loot tiers. And you can use the alt keys to do that. Okay. Let's head to the inventory. Tome of Life Leech. Magic attack, which converts 30% of damage into a heal for yourself. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, this is a rudimentary roguelike, naturally. Ability Lorn. And it's O. Plague Rat. We got Underfoot. 10 stealth. Nice. And then we get Scurry. Fuck yeah. Uh, applies the haste buff for one turn. Okay. See, so yeah, it's a very basic roguelike in terms of controls and loot and everything. Who's this fella? Oh, it's a statue. We leveled up, exciting. Open the stats menu and see what we got. I'll do it this time. Top of their meta attributes, which you can increase during stat points. Their violence, cruelty, adamancy, and relentlessness. Meta attributes deter, uh, define whether you hit hard, whether you're good at crits, or status effects, or have lots of toughness or stamina. Write your core attributes, which are calculated using your form stat multipliers, like your me times your meta attributes. These define how your meta attributes express themselves in a practical sense. And a left in the middle of the some miscellaneous stats. Don't forget to use your imports to increase all your meta attributes, boss. Wow, okay, so my soul essentially has stats, and then the, the, the forms I wear have their own stats. So a stronger guy can get into the same monster that I can, but he'll be stronger still. That's good. So it's almost like um almost like persona in in that sense, where you have your own personal stats, but then you're really just fighting with Pokemon. Of course. Shin Megami Tensei invented the quote-unquote Mon style of gameplay of collecting monsters, but uh, we live in a cool timeline where Shin Megami Tensei is not that popular in the West, and Pokemon is. However, Shin Megami Tensei Five just got announced. I digress, though. Um, so yeah, it looks like also our like soul can level up independent of our body, which is interesting. We got boots now. Yeah, this is a very interesting game. What's the point of the anvil, huh? Maybe it's just uh, that's how you test your uh, your attack damage. Weapon rack. Actually, let's check that. Dagger.
Catman. Cat merchant. Yeah, I see you're finally on your way. Be careful, boss. Something smells fishy about the cat. I do like fish, but I'm a humble merchant. This is one of the this is one of Aaron's OCs, I suppose. If so harmless, how come I hear you trade with the heroes? Nobody's perfect, and profit is profit. Now, you monsters don't use gold, so I'll take balls of yarn and trade instead. Ah, now the yarn make the yarn makes sense now. Look for me on the way down for some good prices. Oh, whoops. Ah! A show of good faith, I can give you the salvage matic. Converts items into scrap, I'll buy for you. Ready to embrace your destiny, go down the stairs next to me. What happens? None will tell tales of your deed. Tales, haha. Uh -huh. Boss, I don't really trust that guy. Oh, that's that's mid. He's just the little fire. That makes sense. Of course he is. Oh yeah, we got Envenom, Scurry, Depossess, and Possess. Neat. And rest is R, I think. It sure is. Um. Hey boss, made it to the second floor. Let me tell you about fast travel on the map. Maps in this corner, you can fast travel by right clicking. Map shows monsters as red dots. Toggle the map size by pressing the button in the top right or by pressing tab or M. By the way, monsters are aggressive, so watch out. So a lot of control options, a lot of things that you can customize in this, which is, uh, uh, may I pass the first floor, you know about the turn order. Thing to the right. It's only visible when monsters are nearby. Shows us who will take turns in the near future. A portrait with a gold border is us, boss. Turn start from the bottom, and every portrait you go towards to the top is another turn. Oh my god, does this use the Final Fantasy X turn style? Because that's amazing. That's possibly one of my favorite turn-based turn systems ever. That's that's awesome. Uh, when it's our turn, we won't show up in the bottom since we're already taking our turn. Wow. Putting uh, points into violence was helpful. Master this form, way to go. Mastering forms get benefits. When we're in form, the form is equipped. You get the benefit of any innate abilities that that form has, even if they're not selected as active abilities. Our meta attributes are multiplied by the best of all multipliers from our equipped mastered forms. Oh, okay, so you can increase your like default like soul form, essentially, just by leveling up more shit. Uh, people say it's best to be ourselves, but in our case, it's actually true. Yaucha. Um, Master Plague Rat, Depossess. Your stats with the imp with these forms equipped would be... Uh, yeah, that goes up. Cool. So, very uh, rudimentary animations now that I look at this. The controls are pretty basic. Um, let's, oh, there's a plague rat there. I didn't see ya. A chast. Cool. Let's uh, check out what we got. Wand. Cool. Plate armor. Cool. Accessory. No. Well, that's okay. The art's pretty good, honestly. I have no problem with it. It's very simple art. It has a very classic feel. Almost like an old RuneScape feel, you know? Interesting that you play as, you know, an enemy in a game. In a couple different cases, because in addition to being an enemy, you also play as, you know, the enemy literally. Because you play, possess some enemies. Um, which is probably why you're fighting rats, because it knows that it's kind of a generic game, I guess. No, it, it knows that fighting rats is a cliche in uh, Western RPGs. It's aware of that. So it just wants to be like, ah, we're fighting rats, haha, -ha, you know? Ornate chest. And it dropped yarn. Cool, I love yarn. You can hold on the mouse, that's nice. What about you, Bat? Ooh. Let's possess you. Suck the soul. Vampire bats healed for two points. Oh, I see. Yeah, 
probably don't need to do that, do I? Man, it doesn't regenerate while you're running around the place. Blew up my microphone there. Excuse me. Take a rest. Take a load off. Have a seat, girl. Hmm. I'm going to die in the tutorial. Oh, there we go. What's this? So you know more forms, equip an optional one. Go to the equipment menu. No, please allow me. Top left, equip additional forms. Equipping a form lets you use that form's equipped abilities. Since we're in another form, our soul's weaker, so we can only choose one. In the natural form, we get to pick three. You just learn a magic attack. Oh boy. Magic types. Physical, pure magic, fire, and poison. Increases with strength, reduced by a toughness. Magic is magic. Magic is... It's magic. Fire and poison are status effects. Called condition damage. It isn't reduced by anything. Useful. There's no monster, so let's regenerate. Alright, cool. I'm no longer poisoned. I guess it was kind of stupid to poison what would become my body. I love the idea of body surfing. That's cool. A lot of stuff you're carrying. It's not going to where you stash it all. If you want to drop it, just do that. Remember, you can uh, see loot. I guess you can highlight loot. They're on to us. Other dungeon monsters will... The other dungeon monsters don't like us getting out of line and will attack if they notice us. Sneak past if we're stealthy enough, but there's some monsters who are more perceptive than others. Got to fight on our hands. Good luck with that, boss. You're in range. Hmm. You're violently expelled from your form. No, please. Oh, yeah. Totally. I, I'm... Yeah. I'm fairly certain that that's just the Final Fantasy X turn order. Please go away. Do we lose him? Oh, there's the red dot. No, I'm the red dot. Can we wait some more? Hmm. Oh, good. Fortunate. Another little bad, huh? I don't know if I'm ready for that. Whoa, treasure. So many yarns. Oh, and there's a bat in here. Hmm. A sword. An oozing two-handed sword of resistance. And leather armor of endurance. A dagger of constitution. Floppy disk. So this looks like a save icon. Guess it means I have something to do with computers, huh, boss? So I'm a ball of flame. Maybe I can fire it up. Let's try it. <laughs> oh, boy. Can't believe that worked. Just noticed that, uh... Mid's uh, text box is cut off here, so I'm going to double check and see if I've ruined my entire episode. One moment. I moved it up a little bit. Hopefully it'll look a little cleaner that way. Suggest you uh, try not to think about... Uh, try not to think too hard about how, boss. Looks like some old stuff. Good luck figuring it out. What? Oh my god, is this the old, old mid-boss? That's kind of crazy, yeah. How do I... <laughs> G. 
Jeez, that's uh, that's wild. Anyway, back to the adventure. Jeez, there's a bat in here. Guess I'll just get my yarn. Looks like he dropped double multiplier. Cool. More armor. Chance to nauseate. Holy water. That torn page. Contains reference to Stack's hatred of Devin. Playing that Stack, enraged by being denied her gifts after Devin created him as the first automaton, created non magical constructs in his own image despite Devin. It literally just says lore. Neat. Well, I suppose I'll be going. Wouldn't want to you know, take your time, good sir. Ooh, a plague rat. Good, I need you. You ought to be my vessel. Uh, I'll drain him. Mm -mm. The zombie, watch your step. Zombies are tough but slow. If we use our speed and abilities, we can kill it. Can't wait in battle, huh? Cool. Suppose I should have seen that coming. Sure, I want to open the chest. Ah, oh, monsters. Hmm. Pretty uh, classical tale of greed there. Here's where we see if we can die in the tutorial. <laughs> Vampire bat is healed for zero points. You have died game oba. Imp survived for 592 turns. Love to be a plague rat, stolen to the dungeon, poison everything inside. Shame you got sucked dry by a thirsty vampire bat. This is a death card. Death cards are card images generated on death. Embedded within these images is detailed information about the run that just ended, including your inventory, statistics, and forms. Name? Oh, whoops. After game over, you'll be taken to the death card screen where you can customize your card with your name and unlock additional themes. Share the card on social media, save it to your death card gallery, available from the title screen, or discard it. Save cards can be used once to start with an item from that card in a new game. Cards also allow you to try again with the same seed and settings, either to improve your performance or to show a friend who shared their card how it's done. <laughs> That's funny. Cards can be imported from files or, in, or from images online. Drag drop. Uh, if you beat the game, you get a victory card with a gold bo uh, border, which functions identically to death cards, but allows you to replay the game with New Game Plus, where you start again with all your abilities and items. New Game Plus runs do not generate death cards when you die. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a really cool game game idea. Once. Yeah, there it is. That's really neat. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, I guess I'll record a little more. I'll be right back after I take a short, quick break. All right, hopping back in here. Starting over with, um, just going to put the armor on. Oh, we can only pick one. In that case, I will go with the armor. Unless we can also pick the sword. No. Well, then. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go with the big sword. And then escape to skip cutscene. Nice. Hide them controls. No. Zap them. Your soul is mine. Or technically your body. My soul is yours. Oh, we got a treasure room right off the bat. Look at that. Excuse me, Mrs. Plague Rat. I'm just gonna eat your butt there. I'm sorry, that was crude.
All right, let's take a look at what we got. Potion. Okay. All right. Um, the mechanic of possessing things is actually pretty neat. Gameplay is pretty basic. You know, it's... Oh, that's this. This level, right. Next level. Agile. Plus one speed. Nice. I always... Um, I believe I may have even mentioned this in other videos, but I always much prefer passives to active moves. Attack the forge for one damage, huh? Attack forge and crit for two damage. Oh wait, is that pretending to be blacksmith? If so, that's funny. Yeah, pretty basic roguelike, but I definitely like the idea of, of it. Possessing enemies is cool. Um, it reminds me of a certain game. Can't think of what. Master Playground, Depossess? Yeah, sure. A chill envelops you. Light boots. Man. It, like, can't catch up. <laughs> Alright. Make an offering? Sure, I'll put this dagger in there. Put the armor in there. You're offering to stack the volatile as an insert. A curse is cast upon you. Great. Entropy. Stacks curse is eroded your uh, equipment's attribute bonus by 20%. That's great. Is stack meant to be like scratch? Like whole scratch? Like the demon? Hello, cat. Pocket library allows tomes to be stacked. That's a good upgrade. That's a good idea, even. Potion stack. More slots. More slots. Big fucking axe. Shield. More big stuff. Light boots. Wait, did that say potion of... Tome of Zap? <laughs> That's funny. Well, thank you, but I don't believe I'll need any right now. Ugh, more robes. Odious light boots. Less resistance, more toughness. Oh, they were cursed, were they? That makes sense. Alright, let's, um... Let's jack violence and relentless. That's good. Those all keep. Yep. Um, the art's very like cute. Sorry, I'm meant to be reviewing this in my uh, review show. Much better. Possess the shit out of that. Cool. Oh, more treasure. Cool. Whoa, that's an enemy, huh? Yeah, the, um... <laughs> that's funny. Animated arsenal. I love that. Yeah, the mechanic's great. I love the idea of it. Um, it. It explains the stats in a way that I wish Shin Megami Tensei would. Or alternatively, I wish Shin Megami Tensei stats worked to begin with. All in all, it's not a bad roguelike at all. If you see this on sale, I would definitely get it. Oh, yeah, let's possess you. Magic bat, huh? 
Uh, I get more strength and less sorcery. Sure. Wait, I get less sorcery from the magic bat? Does that make sense? Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, well. Perhaps I'll just have to possess something else later. Nothing so wrong with that, right? Hell yeah. It's a very workable game. Let's drain him. Mastered magic bat, do you possess? Uh, yeah, sure. Telling me a lot of things might be a lot to take in. I'm always down here in the bottom right corner giving you helpful reminders. Look at me when I'm bouncing around, like I've got something to say. If I have a lot to say, I'll get really fired up. Hey boss, does this mean there's two of me? Whoa, trippy. Equip an optional form in the menu. I'd open. Cool. Um, equip forms. You should know switching equip forms takes it out of you. First time you do that, it's fine. Every time after that, you'll get weaker. It's called soul fatigue. Get rid of it by possessing a new body. Oh boy. Stay in your menus while you swap as much as you want without incurring extra stacks of soul fatigue. Experiment as much as you want as long as you don't close your menus. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of um, things that I see in like a... Wow, yeah. That's pretty fantastic. A lot of things I see from um, a lot of modern indie games where they're just like, hey, this is a video game. This is how it works. They're just very upfront with how shit works. Zombie poisoned you. Weapon nauseated zombie. Well, yeah, it's it's just the Final Fantasy X turn system. That's that's awesome. Strength go up, sorcery go down, toughness go up, constitution and endurance go up. Hell yes. We learned body slam. Let's take a look at this item. Oh man, it's actually starting to fill up uh, quicker than I would have anticipated. Jinx Poison Two-Hand Sword. Plate Armor of Constitution. Amulet of Spirit. Oh, boy. Tome of Fester. <laughs> Reading this tome will cause you to stick a light bulb in your mouth. Oh, yeah, and we've, we've got a level, do we? Crits, minimum damage, condition strength. So minimum damage is essentially rolling a one with all your modifiers still on. So like, it doesn't matter if your attack die is still a little d4, if the bonus is plus five, then, you know, your, your minimum is still pretty solid. Essentially. Um, the fact that it's also linked to criticals is interesting. I like that. Um... Yeah, I'm cool with that. All right, let's take my awful zombie corpse around. Wow. 26 damage. Another thing I notice, low numbers in this game, and that is a good thing. I love when games just have very low numbers. It makes things a lot more relevant. Because when you see, like, oh, you did 28,000 damage in, like, before you're level 20, even. Like, it just, the, the, the inflation of numbers just makes it feel a little difficult. Wow. Inventory is full. Holy shit, this thing is strong. Now, is it possible for me to grind these things up? Salvage, right? Yeah, okay. Mm. Oh, I see. 
Yeah, that's really, really scrap it. Scrap the hell out of these. Love that. Would have liked to maybe get the corpseman just to maybe get a new form, but that doesn't really matter. Skeleton's very quick. Holy shit, I have 56 hit points. Body slam. Scurry. We've got infection now. Oh, yeah. I feel good about that. Yep. Okay. See, so yeah, this will be the last attempt for the day. I feel okay about that. Damn, I should have rested. Whoa, he's fast. Let's equip Scurry. Maybe he won't kill me. Oh, jeez. Oh, right. Well. Hunoops. <laughs> Love to be a player rat. Shame they got carved up by a rusty score by a, with a rusty sword by a skeleton. Wow, yeah. So that was mid-boss. Um, pretty good uh, roguelike. Uh, difficulty is pretty high, um, but it's not front-loaded with difficulty. Um, I definitely feel like my playing better, because I would definitely be playing better if I wasn't recording a show. I'm getting my Johns out because I just got my balls kicked in, but, you know, MBD, right? Um, yeah, very good game. I uh, This is a very solid video game. Um, let me check if this is on Steam or just Itch.io. I'll do that live, even. Holy shit, Star Wars The Old Republic's on sale. Midboss is on Steam, and currently it is 50% off. Um, I assume that by the time that this game comes out, it will not be, but... You know. If it ever shows up on sale again, I highly recommend it. I wouldn't say highly recommend it. I definitely recommend it. Um, pretty solid game. Definitely a pretty solid game. Um, but yeah, that's Friday Night Roguelikes. Uh, another one of the short episodes. I've been Alfred. Thanks for coming by. See you guys next week for Friday Night Roguelikes.